friends you know what happened in my class yesterday in the first bench itself the face of a girl looked like a pumpkin even tears in the eyes as you know my usual question why this collaborate the girl answered sir my mom scolded me like anything oh what she told you the girl answered you are very naughty i wondered and said that oh you are not worried for you you are worried for me oh fine then how your mother knew that i was so naughty the entire class laughed even the girl laughed you know the girl told the speech of the mother and even we also speak the speech of other people in order to concretize the definition of direct and indirect speech let's go to these two sentences in sentence number 1 you see that my mother said you are very naughty my mother said this person this part is called reporting part because we are reporting now you are very naughty the second part is called the reported part and in sentence 1 you see that we said the speech of the mother directly the exact actual and original words of the mother was retold without any addition when we spoke the speech of someone directly it's called direct speech let's go to the second one my mother said that i was very naughty in this sentence you see that we didn't tell the original actual exact words of the mother we changed in our own language we changed the pronouns we changed some words when we speak the speech of a person indirectly it's called indirect speech the quotation marks or the inverted commas in sentence number 1 indicate that the text is quoted the sentence is not ours we have brought the sentence from someone else but in second sentence you see we have dropped the quotation marks because the speech is already a part of our sentence a part of our language let's move to the most awaited most interesting and most important part of our discussion on narration direct and indirect speech and how can we change the speech from direct to indirect in order to make use of a language we must learn the narration that is how can we speak how can we write the in both the direct speech and indirect speech also it is very important for all school and college exams all competitive exams including civil services even for teacher eligibility test exams so let's go to the same example how can we change the speech from direct to indirect my mother said you are very naughty direct speech and in indirect speech it is my mother said that i was very naughty you see quotation marks are dropped as i have already told you that in indirect narration we are not going to speak or write the original words of the speaker and in number 2 we use that before the reported part and sometimes in speaking or in spoken english we omit that next comes the pronouns pronouns change to the person they mean here you see you changed into i always pronouns changes 
according to the original speaker the person who is speaking and you see tense tense changes in most of the cases that we will discuss later on there is a change of some adverbs and other words in the next slide i will tell you how they change friends you may also take a screenshot of this page or slide to know that how these these and some of the other adverbs they change while changing the narration this changes into that these those now then here changes into there hands changes into thens ago before thus so today that day tomorrow the next day or the day following yesterday the day before or the previous day last night the night before last week the previous week like this we change the words while changing the narration from direct to indirect friends it's very easy to change the narration from direct to indirect don't be afraid of changing the same speech by taking very suitable examples now we shall discuss actually how can we change the narration from direct to indirect where the tense changes and sometimes where the tense does not change all these things we'll discuss now let's go to the first discussion when the reporting part as i told you he says he said this is called the reporting part the part which is within the inverted commas that is called the reported part when the reporting part verb is in present tense there will be no change of tense of the reported part you see the example here she says i play badminton and in the indirect speech she says comma was removed inverted comma was removed and you see she says that she plays badminton there is no change of tense if the reporting part verb is in present tense there will be no change of tense in the reported part friends there is also no change of tense when the reporting part verb is in past tense when when the reported part is a universal truth sentence or it is relevant to the present time you see these examples in number 1 the teacher said the earth moves around the sun and in indirect speech the teacher said that the earth moves around the sun same no change german is easy to learn she said in indirect speech she said that german is easy to learn friends there is no change of tense even when you find the reported part is a universal truth sentence or a sentence that is relevant to the present time let's move to the third point so when there will be the change of tense then if the reporting part verb is past tense and the reported part is not a universal truth sentence you may see this example now he said raman is going to market now dad speech in indirect speech he said that raman was going to the market then what you find here the tense changed into its own corresponding past tense if the reporting part verb is past tense then automatically the reported part verb will change to its own corresponding past if the reporting part verb is in past tense and reported part verb is in present simple it changes into past simple present progressive changes into past progressive present perfect into past perfect 
present perfect progressive into past perfect progressive like your modal verbs will would shall should can could may might and you see how tense like past perfect past perfect progressive and the modal verbs like could should would might remain the same even in the reported speech listen a very interesting story in my class i completed this much then one of the boys stood up in my class and asked sir if the reporting part is past then automatically the reported part will be past but if the reporting part is past and the reported part will be also in past tense sir what will be sir i answered if the reporting part is past and reported part is past na the past will be more past let's learn what will be the more past my dear friends it is very easy as you know there are four aspects of past tense past simple past progressive past perfect and past perfect progressive if the reporting part verb is in past and the reported part verb is in past simple then it will change into past perfect one will change into three and if the reported part verb in inverted commas reported part verb is will be in past progressive then it will change into past perfect progressive one will change into three two will change into four look at these examples now she said my father told a story yesterday what will be the sentence in indirect speech she said that her father had told a story the previous day let's move to the second example he said i was watching tv he said that he had been watching tv friends we talked about the models how can they be changed into indirect speech will would shall should may might can could but we didn't talk about most most is very dangerous remember not dangerous so sometimes you see the most the model has the sense of obligation when it refers to obligation then most changes into had to in indirect speech but there will be only must means must will be must in indirect speech in other sense look at these examples she said we must call the mechanic tomorrow in indirect speech she said that they had to call the mechanic next day you see how the modal verb must changed into had to when the sense of must is or it refers to obligation in the second one he said you must lock the room it is the sense is command and must remains must he said that i must lock the room sometimes students are afraid of the interrogative sentences how can we change the interrogative sentences from direct narration to indirect narration i have learned this from my father the most easiest way to change the interrogative sentences friends there are two types of interrogative sentences na one is the wh words and the other is the yes or no questions please look at this example in example number 1 you see he said to me what are you doing it's a wh word question that is there in the reported part of the sentence how can we change it while changing the same into indirect narration we don't put any question that's why let's know first what will be the statement form what are you doing the statement form is what you are doing we changed first into the statement form then next is 
we have to change the pronouns as i told you pronouns they change according to the speaker the speaker of the sentence what i am doing because he is putting the same question to me what i am doing and finally we have to change the tense because the reporting part verb is in past tense so it will be what i was doing finally and the indirect speech of the sentence will be he asked me what i was doing in the place of ask we may also use inquire wanted to know etc let's move to the second example she said will you listen music it's an yes or no question it's not a wh word question again in the same formula in the same format let's change the same reported part into statement form will you listen music changes into you will listen music then while changing the pronoun you turns into i you turns into he or she or they they will listen music then we changed the same into indirect narration when the tense will be changed they would listen music so she wanted to know whether they would listen music it will be the same like the wh word questions my dear friends and as there is no wh word we can use another wh word like whether or if before the reported part friends in the competitive exams also in school and college exams sometimes we have the question like the reported part may be in imperative form it may be in order form it may be a request it may be an a piece of advice or it may be a type of suggestion let's see these examples how can we change the narration from direct to indirect when the reported part is an imperative sentence you see the first example the teacher said to ashok go out how easy to change this you see the teacher ordered ashok to go out just we used to in infinitive go out turn into to go out just the said change into ordered similarly you see the second example he said to me please help me he requested me to help him again it is a request sentence let's move to the third example she said to him take medicines regularly it's a piece of advice she advised to him to take medicines regularly and while talking about the suggestions he said let's buy a good dictionary remember there will be no two infinitive because we can never use two infinitive that is after the verb suggest so what will be the indirect speech he suggested buying a good dictionary or he suggested that we or they should buy a good dictionary and finally he shouted let me go in indirect speech he shouted to them let him go finally we shall move to the exclamatory sentences and wishes when the reported part will be an exclamatory sentence or it will be a type of wish how can we change them let's see these examples she said what a beautiful girl she is in indirect narration she exclaimed that she was a very beautiful girl he said alas the man is gone he exclaimed sadly that the man was gone she said what an idea she exclaimed with joy that it was a great idea in wishes he said to me congratulations he 
congratulated me. She said, thank you. She thanked me. So friends, in this limited period of time, I have tried my level best to present before you the vast topic like direct and indirect speech in a simple manner. Hope you must like this. If possible, we may also have the second part of this to discuss the critical analysis of direct and indirect narration. Take care. Till then. Bye-bye.